One, two, three. Another glorious morning, everybody. How you doing, Darren Auburn Sky? It is now fall, and we are back at the job we did in the spring. There's two great times to plant during the year. One is spring, one is fall. You can do it in the summer, but you want irrigation for sure. Plants behind us, exciting day. We got the crew here, crew behind us, up top here, prepping, getting everything going. We got tons of a decorative stone. This is called one inch nutmeg. It's actually really difficult to get this stuff but uh, we were lucky to find a place to source it. Once the net's rinsed off, it's gonna really complement the house well. Here on this property, we're doing a mix of decorative stone and mulch, which I really enjoy the contrast. We're gonna keep cranking. We got a lot to do, a lot to do, but uh, excited. It was like Christmas morning waking up today. Always love this part, so we'll show you when we're finished. See ya. tail end of our project for this year. This was a two phase project inside of one year. Spring demolition, drainage, hardscaping between steps, boulders and pavers, plus a fountain and some lighting. And then now we are back here in the fall. It's mid-October and we just did our planting. The fall is a great time to plant. So instead of planting into the summer, we decided to hold off and we did it now. We're here for final touch-ups, but I don't even wanna wait any longer because it's just time to, to show it. But look at the difference of this project and what can be done to your home. Look at these beautiful natural edge stones, steppers that are here with a fantastic Cambridge light toffee onyx three piece random kit with our cast lighting as our accents and just a mix of fantastic low maintenance plants deer resistant as deer resistant as possible beautiful moss rock boulder I love working with boulders just look at the colors in these steps just fantastic and our big presenting steps, our six footers coming up to the house. We got a little leftover rain coming through as you can see. But look at that nice presentation to your home. As well as an awesome area to hang out and greet people in the front of your house. Beautiful plantings that are gonna stay relatively small and accommodate this area. We got some burning bush back here to create some blockage on the backside driving by. Gorgeous dogwood tree. It's gonna be phenomenal. White flowers. Admiration barberry, dwarf variety, dwarf Japanese maple, blood good Japanese maple. Plantings down in the front. Our clients loved this decorative stone when they saw it, so we incorporated that in with a commercial grade weed barrier fabric underneath it. We remember here again, I've said it before in past videos, we only do weed barrier fabric underneath stone. We don't do it in mulch, because you're just asking for trouble. Our clients, got us two urns and they said just have at it do what you can we did a little dry river bed and they could you know do some more plantings around if they want we did we got a dwarf cat mint and then we got some creeping jenny that'll mix and they'll give it a nice spring pop with a dwarf butterfly bush fun little time in the front yard doing something a little different this was our area just for another kind of mingling spot for people we're gonna you know they could do a bench there uh, looking either out or at the urn, but just love the transitions and changes in elevation and levels that you can create. But the whole purpose is, was because of that view. Just gorgeous. 
especially now with the fall colors coming in. This is what we love to do, right? It's all about bringing people outside. And the cool thing is, is front yards are becoming the in thing again, like they were many, many decades ago. That was where everybody would meet and greet their neighbors as they walked by on the street. Those that had gone by the wayside, everybody was focused on the backyards. We are doing more and more of these front yard landscapes like this where people can just hang out. Um, it's just a great thing, especially when you got a view like that. Why not take advantage of it? So make sure your front walkways are wide, a minimum four feet. Um, if you can, if you can afford it, you could bump up to five, six feet, make them wider, let people really come into your house, not feeling confined and where they can walk hand in hand as they come to greet you and your family and celebrate, uh, time together. So hope you enjoyed this. We love doing these comes out awesome smile on my face every time. And, um, it's great to have finally have that vision that's in here. Finally get out to here. The team did awesome, uh, worked so hard and, um, couldn't be happier. So time to celebrate. See ya.